How do you read and write algebraic expressions using variables? For example, how could we use an algebraic expression to write 5 less than a number? In this lesson, you will learn how to read and write algebraic expressions by using variables. So let's review. We know that numerical expressions contain numbers and operations. Numerical expressions are everywhere. We use them every day. A common mistake that students make when they read 10 less than a number, they think that it means 10 minus a number. These two expressions are not the same thing. We also have to remember to read carefully and don't forget the variable. So what is a variable? Well, it's a letter that takes the place of a number. Any letter. You can choose any of these letters or any other letter in the alphabet. A variable takes the place of a number. You may have seen an expression five more than a number looking like these. You may have seen it written as five plus blank or five plus a blank box. You may even have seen it written as five plus x. Which of these expressions is an algebraic expression? Remember, an algebraic expression has a number, operation, and variable. If you chose 5 plus x, you're correct. Now sometimes when we are translating a word form into an algebraic expression, we're going to need to figure out from the words what operation we need to use. If we're going to be doing addition, we may get a clue from some of these words. Add, plus, total, sum, or increased by. There are others, but these are some of the major ones. What if we're subtracting? Well, we would know from the word subtract, minus, difference, decreased by, or less than. We could also use other words. How about multiplication? Well, if we're told to multiply or to find a product or to find the total, then that would work with, that, with multiplication as well. And division, we could divide, we could find a quotient, we could break it into equal parts. These are just some words that help us to figure out which operation to use. So, how could we write the sum of a number and 10? Well, sum is a word that shows us we're going to be doing the operation of addition. A number is a variable. So, we could write the sum of a number and 10 as x plus 10. We could choose any other letter if we wanted to, but I just chose x for this example. How could we write 5 less than a number? That was the original question on the very first slide. Well, I'm looking at 5 less than. When something is less than, we're going to make sure we're going to subtract it. So I know I'm going to take 5 away from a number. So I could write this as x minus 5. In this lesson, you have learned to read and write algebraic expressions by using variables.